Yeah, he's been going to Link uh, recently. He's been going to Link recently. Uh, he told me that he tried it out at uh, Mississauga Mondays. Oh yeah. Just for fun, he's saying. Then he came over to my place and we're, we're playing some friendlies. Busted out the tooling. He's telling me that oh, this character's broken, busted. <laughs> he, he told me he was getting beat by a, a Toon Link on Wi-Fi. So this was this is the entire reason he's playing Toon Link right now. Interesting. I mean, we have seen Hyuga put in the work for Toon Link to show us like what's possible with this character and potentially yeah. even more. Yeah, massive item game. Yeah. Probably one of the biggest item games next to City. And next to Original Link too, but Original Link kind of suffers with low speed, so he can't really make much use with his items. Yeah, like, Toon Link can actually combo into his bombs and boomerangs, and except for arrows, but... Alright, but so far it's actually looking pretty close, Ooh. even on both sides. Catches that, uh, that getup. So many projectiles. And uh, Raijin just having a little bit of problems with approaching and breaking that wall of uh, oh, projectiles. That strong up air. Definitely very strong. Raising the roof. Trying to get that fancy little spike, but Raijin avoiding it. Low percent combos, but drops out of it. Uh, oh! Oh, and the bomb disrupts it. Yeah, that that good old bomb. You'll see that a lot actually when two with two links. Uh, if they either like Z drop, if they double jump, not even double jump, if they just jump and Z drop and get grabbed or something, they'll break the they'll break the grab. Yeah, yeah. It's like always having a bomb on hand is like key with two links. Just want those scenarios. Oh, ooh, run off there. Interesting choice. <laughs> for and that lasted, uh, I think, maybe a little longer than he expected. I think he expected to land on the stage, actually. That's probably more it. Yeah. Uh, but if Black Twins is uh, gonna die in the set, it's gonna, it's gonna be an SD. <laughs> you, won't let, you won't let him have it. No more down airs. Get that bump. Oh. Oh, looking smash. like yeah, looking like Cloud there. It does kind of look like Cloud's down smash. It's like Blackton's use it in the same way he would with Cloud. It does have the same properties, you know. Starts from the front, ends in the back. Yeah. Com combos into itself. Oh, oh, uh, bad DI. I think. Yeah. I think if he DI down, but you know what? he wasn't expecting it, right? So. Yeah. Definitely could have left though. All right, and game one going to Blackton's with his Toon Link. Are we going to see a character switch, or is Carlos going to... Raijin going to stay with his Sonic? It looks like he is, so... Okay, no Diddy? Okay. Alright, Dreamland, the choice. Three, two, one, go! All right, and Carlos is pretty good right now. He's keeping Blackstone's off stage and definitely had a, an advantageous position with a grenade. Oh, sorry, the not a grenade. The bomb. Grenade. <laughs> Looking like Snake. Shout out to Snake. Wish you were in this game. Uh, oh, swinging like crazy, but not hitting anything. I'm surprised. Well, I guess. Uh, yes. Even though uh, FD would give Sonic open space, these projectiles. He needs a way around them, which is why he chose Dreamland back then. I feel like what we're seeing is just Black Twins is just really good at kind of reading uh, Raijin's defensive options. Uh, like, for example, if he's like comboing him, he's really good at figuring out, okay, oh, what I should do next to cover most of Raijin's options, and obviously the ones that he feels like he's going to go for. And that's a big part of this game, is getting your tech chases down. And yeah. Blacksmith, being a top player, is able to demonstrate that effectively. Oh, that's, that was a trap, at least. Oh, Dude. no. He was oh. definitely thinking of going through the back throw, but... Two Link definitely does have a strong one, and probably wouldn't have killed in that scenario. All these trades? Oh, not, no four there. Didn't really have a right angle to do it. It probably would have killed... Oh, I would, oh, did you see the spark? 
Yeah, that's definitely a thing, getting the bomb into a, I into a B reverse back air. Oh, yeah. Look into back throw, yep. <laughs> call, call him that. Oh, yeah, the back throw will definitely kill at this percent. Yeah. I don't know, toon has got a pretty strong arm. I don't know why. I don't know where he's been looking out. It's one of the strongest back throws for some odd reason. Yeah. Oh, clipped in the face. All right, and Raj is going to have to close off the stock or else he's going to suffer a lot of damage for no reward. I mean, he's not too far off. But, uh, oh. That massive damage. I mean, when they're at kill percent, you're always 1% away, no matter how much more damage you do. Yeah, you're always one hit away. I feel like his back throw... Okay. Oh, almost not killing, interesting. Yeah, Black Twin's kinda... I think he killed himself. That's what it looked like. That might have been a sour spot on the back air. Nah. Maybe. Cause I've seen back airs from Sonic killing at like 110, 120. Yeah, back air is decently strong with rage. Raijin is definitely bringing this back. Just gonna have to be more cautious with this projectile game from Black Twins. Definitely yeah. getting hit with a lot of it. And it adds up. This could also just be a matchup and familiarity. I don't think Raijin's really played a lot of tuning, so he's not really sure how to optimally punish his stuff, or like what he can punish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he. I, I'm not sure if he fought Jace by Augur. Yeah, it looks like he was just trying to experiment with a lot of ways to approach. And yeah, yeah, Black Twins definitely knowing what he was doing there, so... Hey, I gotta go on now, me and Phil. Alrighty, good luck, sir.